In this video I'm going to try and make a cheap camera slider out of a drawer slide and we'll see how that goes. To make a cheap camera slider one thing I'm going to need is a way to connect the camera slider to my tripod. So I've got a, a quarter inch threaded nut and that fits onto the tripod mount so next what I need to do is to set the drill height so that I can drill a hole that's deep enough to take the threaded nut. This threaded nut is about 10 millimeters on the outside threads and about 8.3 millimeters inside so I'm going to use a 9 millimeter drill bit and that should give me a millimeter or so for the threads to bite into the wood. So it'll become apparent later on why I'm drilling this at the end of the block of wood that the slider's going to go on. And it's more just about balance for the weight. So now I could just simply thread that in. So now that gives me a way to mount this onto the tripod. I'll put a link into the description where I got these threaded nuts from. Next thing I want to do is to take the drawer runner and I want to have most of the weight to the left of this so that when the camera slides along like that then the weight's on there so it tries to balance it a bit more. So I'm just going to rest that against a flat edge just to make sure that it's horizontal with the ground when it's on a tripod. Here I'm cutting a piece of wood to connect the camera slider to the camera. Here I'm attaching the camera connector that I 3D printed in a previous video for the tile cutter slider. But you could just as easily use one of the threaded inserts. Now I had assumed that with the drawer slide in this orientation that that's where it naturally is when it's on a drawer and should give good performance and I think it would but if you're only using one of these then it has a tendency to wobble back and forwards so what I'm thinking is if I change it so that it's horizontal then that should try and eliminate that Let's see how it does in that orientation. How did this camera slider do overall? It had so much potential. I think it was just a little bit too shaky. So one of the first problems you have with this one is that because it's in three sections, as soon as you hit that section there, it takes a little bit of force to get beyond that. So that causes a little bit of movement. There's also just a little bit too much play in that direction. 
so that just makes the shots a little bit too shaky. Between this slider and the tile cutter camera slider in the previous video, I think what's needed is something that's got a bit more uh, width there, just to give it a bit more stability. So in an upcoming video, I'll try something with a bit, a bit wider stability. One thing I probably could have done with this was to just compress these a little bit so it was a bit tighter on the bearings and that would probably stop that movement a little bit. So with some stability issues with the single rail, I decided to move on and use two rails and see how that went. This was the updated camera slider. I used both drawer slides and that gives it more stability in that direction, which is good. But you still have the problem that when you're pushing it in, you hit that point there and you've got to push it just that little bit more to get it over the join. And I guess I'll show you that you can edit that out a little bit in post. So this one here is just a piece of wood on the bottom, two blocks with the slides attached to that, and then both slides attached to either side of that, and then just the plate from the previous video sitting on top. Obviously, if you have a lighter camera, it, it makes it a little bit better, um, but when you've got the DSLR with a slightly heavy lens on it, then it has a chance to move about a bit more, but having the two rails definitely steadies it up. The threaded insert came from this set of uh, T-Track nuts, bolts, knobs uh, that I got out of Halfco. I'm pretty sure this set's available in America. It took some time to come to Australia, and there's two versions of this kit. One in a quarter inch, which is really good for camera threads, and one that's five eighths. This had the threaded rod insert, so uh, you saw that in the video. And you could just drill a, a nine millimeter hole and screw that in. Also has some T-nuts, or whatever you call them. And then there's bolts for the for T-track, along with a variety of handles and things. Would I build another drawer slide camera slider? On balance, probably not. But watch out for the next video where I make an even better camera slider. Cheerio.